In question 4, the problem statement says observe the following pattern and find the missing digits. So what is the pattern? So we are given 11 square is equal to 121. Then we are given 101 square is equal to 10201. Then we are given 1001 square is equal to 1002001. And then using the pattern that is there in the first three squares, we have to find we have to complete the square of this number, which is one and then four zeros. So one zero 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 one square, we have to complete this. And then we have to complete find this square, which is one followed by six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one again, and the square of this number. So we have to complete these two squares. So let's look at the first three squares and try and spot a pattern in these squares. So 11 square is equal to 121 and we see that there is a 2 in the middle. So the, the square starts with 1 and ends with 1 and there is a 2 in the middle. Then 101 1 square again has 1 at the beginning and 1 at the end and there is a 2 in the middle but then because there is a 0 here 101 1 in the number uh, in the square we have these zeros appearing so we get 10201 1. so this is the pattern. Then in the sec in the third square, we have 1001 0, square. So the square again ends starts in 1 and ends in 1. And then in the middle, there is a 2 again. And because we had two zeros in the number, so we have two zeros here and we have two zeros here. So this is the pattern uh, that is there in, in this sequence of squares. And we can use this to find the remaining two squares. So in the fourth square, we have four zeros between the first one and the last one. So this means that between this one and this two, we will have four zeros appearing. And between this two and this last one, we will have four zeros appearing again. So let's write out this answer properly. So, um, so we have one zero 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 zero. So four zeros and one square will be 1 followed by 4 zeros followed by 2 followed by 4 zeros again and then 1 so this is the answer for this square and then in the last part we have 1 followed by 6 zeros followed by 1 so the first digit will be 1 the last digit will be 1 the middle digit will be 2 and then we will have 6 zeros so 1 2 3 4 5 6 here and then 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6 here. So this will be the square of the last number. So let's write it out properly. So we have 1 followed by 6 zeros and then 1. So this, this is the square that we wanted to evaluate. So this will be 1 followed by 6 zeros, then 2, then followed by 6 zeros again, and then 1. So these are the missing squares and this completes question number 4. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.